Labour Party names Cleric as DG of Governorship Campaign Council for Edupo. So the Labour Party uh, governorship candidate, Olumide Akpata, and his group have named a cleric. Who is this cleric now that they have named as their campaign DG? Eh? Eh? For their, because already the, the PDP own is out and they have named their uh, Fintiri as the chairman of the campaign council with almost 153 names there in that campaign organization. So Labour Party is coming out and they are naming a cleric, that means a man of God as uh, a clergyman, as a, as a campaign DG. <laughs> I don't know how this will go. Let's get into the details. The Labour Party in Edo State on Wednesday inaugurated its campaign council ahead of the September 21, 2024 governorship election in the state, announcing a clergyman, Bishop Sam Omede, as the director general of its campaign council. The party also said other subcommittees were constituted to work for the actualization of Barrister Olumide Apata's governorship ambition. Speaking, the party's governorship candidate, Barrister Akpata, said he was excited over the campaign council, expressing confidence that the party will emerge victorious in the election due to the personalities assembled to lead his campaign. So he said, I am extremely excited. I am extremely very grateful to God. Today is a significant milestone in our party's campaign. I have full confidence in the team. The party has chosen right. <laughs> So if you're listening carefully to the array of names that were mentioned, you see that they are seasoned gentlemen and ladies. They are loyal party men. The journey to government house is not an easy journey at all. You need those who are experienced in politics, those who understand what campaigning is all about, and those who understand what politicking is all about. And if you look at the person of Reverend Sam Omade, you see that uh, we have a person with these combined attributes. We know his antecedents. We all know his what. He is a political giant in Edo State. So it is good that the party has settled for him as our campaign director, our director general, and the three deputy directors general for the uh, for the three senatorial districts. We have coordinators in the 18 local government area of Edo State. The Labour Party has presence in 18 local government areas. So you can understand why I am beaming, beaming with confidence and we are going to win the election come September 21. Earlier, the Labour Party chairman in Edo State, Comrade Kelly Ogbaloy, urged party members to forget their differences and unite to achieve their common goal. He harped on the need to support the governorship candidate of the party to win the September election, assuring that Barrister Pata will, cha will change the living standard of every Edo person for the better. We want to assure you that Barrister Olimida Pata is poised to change the living standard of every Edo man for the better. We cannot waste the effort of our candidate and allow PDP APC to continue to continue Sadebe Avenue. It is in that respect that I solicit with you that we cannot afford to begin to fight ourselves inside. Let's deploy the energy outside and garner more members for our party and ensure that our votes are defended, most particularly he charged. So also the Director General of the campaign, Bishop Omede, said the council will coordinate the subcommittees to work to actualize the party's goal. We are here to sell our message, and our message is that there is need to have a change of landlord. We have had APC landlord, we have had PDP landlord. Let's try Labour Party landlord and see the difference, Omede said. Wow. <laughs> so with what we are seeing now, um, they have named the cleric as the campaign organization. They have named... They said they have presence in all the 18 local government areas of the state. They have uh, three uh, deputy directors for the three central districts in the state, Edo North, Edo Central, and Edo South. 
and they have their presence everywhere so the thing here now is that uh, Lumide is saying he is very, very pretty sure that they will win the election on their way to Osadebe Avenue, which is actually where the government, the uh, state government house is located in JRA. Okay, so now he is very elated and very happy that uh, they have a clergyman and a man who is experienced in both politics and religious and all aspects of human endeavor as the campaign DG. They know his war, they know his antecedent, and he's a strong political figure in the state. Okay, now they have uh, uh, started campaigning, and uh, Lumide is very happy. Even the, the clergyman that they have now nominated as the campaign DG has also charged the team that, look, we cannot afford to be fighting ourselves inside right now. Let's deploy the energy, energy outside and garner more supporters and more party members outside okay the way it is now we need to forget our differences we need to work together to ensure that we get to that osadebe house with our labor party we have tested apc as landlord during the Shomole. we have tested pdp landlord right from the time of uh, Gbenedio and now the time of uh, the time of Obasaki. and we can categorically tell you that look we need to change we need a change of landlord from apc pdp to a Labour Party landlord now, and let's see the difference. So those are the things that uh, are being said right now. So they are, they are ready for campaign. That is what it means. Labour Party is ready for campaign. Labour Party is ready for campaign. Okay, and uh, this one now they have elected uh, Bishop Sam Omad Omede as the campaign director. Um, that's fine. So let's see. Uh, the other day we saw how Olumide Apata also got the anointing of the of the Archbishop of Catholic Diocese in the, in Benin. Um, I think that was about a month or two months ago. We also saw how he went to uh, uh, Soul Winners Assembly of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oba Road, Benin, uh, to go meet with Isa Yamu, who is the pastor in charge of that uh, that zone. So uh, me that uh, Olumide Apata is almost like. They call it the heavenly backing or divine anointing, the divinely anointed governor to be for a state. So he is trying to connect. They, they said he's the man without a godfather or the man that has chosen God as his godfather. Okay. <laughs> about, so uh, all these politicians said they will always have one word or the other to express themselves and to qualify what they mean and to sell their message. So right now, apart from getting to redeem, getting to Catholic, now he has got another clergyman, Sam Omede, as a director general of the campaign council for the Labour Party in Edo State. So they are now talking to themselves to see how they can continue to work together and ensure that they make their way to Osadebe Avenue, Jarry, Benin City after the election. <laughs> so thank you for listening and let's have your comments.